Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 74. For the episode head, I think it's going to be a bit of a mixed bag. There will likely be some raise one content and I think some skilling as well. I'll probably head back to Slayer for a bit too and try and pick up some boss tasks later in the episode. Uh, maybe even head back to God Wars, we shall see. As always, sit back, relax and I hope you enjoy the episode. So whilst I have been learning to do solo raids in the past couple of episodes, I have still been doing the odd team raid from time to time. And I do enjoy doing them. They're a lot more relaxing than solo raids. Obviously, I am a lot better at team raids than I am at solos at the moment. So do hit me up in game if you fancy doing one. Um, I could always use new people to do a raid with. And uh, yeah, this happened. Religion got a dex prayer scroll, which was pretty cool to see because he needed the item. We had actually agreed that the raids would be free for all, but uh, Religion was kind enough to offer me a bond, which I thought was um, very generous of him, and I wanted to give him a shout out in the video for doing that. Definitely didn't have to, so that was a nice little surprise from him. We ended up going straight back in, and funnily enough, on the very next raid, Religion got another drop, another drop he needed, and another prayer scroll, the Arcane, which was uh, really nice to see the back to back. We did, of course, go for the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back three purple items in a row and no dice, unfortunately, but you can't complain with two prayer scrolls in three raids. I got an elite clue at the least, which isn't too bad. All right, let's see what we get from that elite clue. Nothing. Another woodcutting level coming in, that is 94. Another woodcutting level coming in, that is 95. Also got three clue scrolls to do as well. Okay, so here's an easy, medium, and elite. Can we get anything good? No. 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 Been doing a bit of Winter Todd and about to open some crates. Rumor Torch, that's pretty good. That's actually my third one, so it means that I won't roll those on the crates anymore, and it's replaced by either a Torstool or a Magic Seed. I can't remember which way around it is. There is the first fire making level coming in, level 91. Ooh, a second tome of fire. It's really bizarre that I've had two of these in, well, not even halfway to 99 and I've not got the pyromancer bottoms or boots to finish off the set. So that's pretty cool. How much are these worth now? 600k, not too bad. Nearly missed that one, but that is 92 fire making, officially halfway to 99. And there is 93 fire making, 2190 total overall, closing in on 2200, which will be quite nice. It'll open up those last total level worlds to me. Ooh, nice, got the pyromancer robe. So the last bit that I need now will just be the boots and I'll have the full set. And there is 94, I will just get one more level to take us up to 95 fire making, and we will stop there for a bit, I think. And there we go, that is 95 fire making, so we'll stop there, finish up this round, and go and open the last of the supply crates and see if we can get the boots to finish off the pyromancer set, and maybe even a pet, who knows. All right, last 13 crates to open. Can we get anything? Just gonna spam through these. Some burnt pages, nope. So we'll have to come back at some point, obviously, to get the boots. Four levels left to go until 99, so hopefully we'll pick those up when I eventually come back and do that. And eight levels to go until 2,200 total as well. No way, I just got the black tourmaline core. I think that is the last drop that I actually need from Grotesque Guardians. I had a task of, um, must have been 225, so I've only done about five kills since I've come here. Uh, I'll go and check the bank, but I think that actually might be the last drop I need here, which is pretty good going in 309 kills. So I am actually missing the granite ring. It's not a drop that has any particular use for me, so I'm not sure that I'll be in any rush to go back to Grotesque Guardians. Maybe at some point if I want to pick up more granite dust, I'll head back. But for the time being, the core was really the one drop that I kind of wanted to get. I don't have a pair of Bandos boots to attach it to just yet, but that is uh, another reason to go back to Bandos in the near future. So that's pretty cool, 309 kills, picking that up. I think it's a one in 500 drop rate, so a little bit under the rate there. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
my second eternal gem. I was not expecting that at all. That's crazy. It's still worth a decent amount as well. I, that's like my fifth or my sixth superior I've had this task. I'm still missing the missed battle stuff off the superior drop table, but wow, <laughs> that's pretty cool to see. Well, I have picked up another greater demon task. So I think it is time to go back to Zami and try and finish off the last item that I need, which is the hilt. So this will be just over a hundred kills of the boss. If I decide to do the whole task, we shall see. Would be nice to finish that one off, I have to say. Oh, we got a God Sword Shard too, and I've got to hop out of here pretty quickly because I have no food left. I actually forgot to check which ones I need for my remaining blades, but still nice to get a drop. And unfortunately, it is not one that we need. I have four extra Shard 2s, so I'm looking for a Shard 3 as it stands. Well, speak of the devil, there we go. That is the God Sword Shard 3 and my third blade, which is pretty nice. Um, can we get anything else during this task? Alright, so this will be my third God Sword Blade overall, and in order to get the fourth and final one, I need another Shard 1 and another Shard 3. I've got plenty of Shard 2s, so yeah, hopefully get that pretty soon. Alright, well this is kill number 1300. After I've done with this trip, I think I'll just finish the task at regular greater demons because I've done quite a lot of kills and still no hilt unfortunately. Oh, I got a purple. What are we going to get? Let's have a look. Oh my god, I got the dex. Oh my god. Yes, that's really good. Raid number 55, Dex Press Scroll. Alright, well, let's activate it. I feel a little bit bad for Iron Swag. I, he said it was like his fifth Dex Scroll he's seen in nearly 600 raids and he's still not got it. So that's tough luck for him. But a very good item for me to unlock so early on. I'm very pleased with that. Oh, that is a nice hard clue. A pair of Sara Dehyde boots, which I already have, and a Master Clue, which I will attempt to finish. Alright, we have ourselves a Master Clue reward casket. What can we get? Well, the 11 Runite Ore is not too bad, otherwise that is a fairly underwhelming Master Clue. The incredible Berserker Ring Luck continues. I think that might be my 10th one in 833kc, which is pretty ridiculous. The recording just messed up, I just picked up an archer's ring which is pretty nice. My luck with the more expensive rings is pretty good actually. I have a much higher number of archers and berserker rings compared to the seers and warriors which is pretty nice. And two clue scrolls coming in from that DK's task, a hard and an elite. So we'll start with the hard. For the Sarodem embraces, I don't think I've actually got those. So that's another one to add to the collection and the elite is trash. And unfortunately that does bring us to the end of episode 74. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. It was a really fun episode to put together and quite an eclectic mix of clips in the end. The highlight definitely has to be getting rigor which is going to stand me in such good stead for all future PVM content. So yeah that was a, a huge one to knock out at such an early raids KC. Maybe some Sara God Wars in the next episode, who knows? Uh, as always, if you did enjoy the video, feel free to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. That way you'll uh, definitely not miss the next episode when it is ready. I'm going to try my hardest to get another episode out before the 14th of November. It may end up being a slightly shorter episode than usual, but I am keen to try and get episode 75 out before the release of the Twisted League. I'm really excited about the new game mode and I'm going to be going pretty hard so do expect a lot of videos there. As I'm quite eager to get my hands on some of the rewards, um, I'd like to have them on this account so it does mean the Iron Man progress will slow down quite a lot. But hopefully the League's videos will be something a bit new and exciting for the channel. Again, thanks a lot for watching this video and I will hope to see you all back in time for the next one. Take care.